And as we've seen out of Vitor Belfort, oftentimes all it can take is one slight crack, one slight opening for his opponent to be twitching on the canvas. Spinning kick, look at how he looked at the target. This isn't luck, he was looking at the target. This is the second time that he used it in this fight. And man, you don't see things like that coming. What a spectacular knockout against a high-level opponent in Luke Rockhold. And no surprise, mutual respect, the story of the first 60 seconds. And they're dropping down, and Belfort drops it. Not sure if it was a shot or if Henderson was knocked off balance there. Vitor Belfort trying to finish off Henderson. Oh, huge kick. Mugliano steps in. Vitor Belfort has done it again. Well, again, Belfort just kind of watching, analyzing. Look at that left hook. Was he off balance? Nope. <laughs> left hook right to the jaw. Knocked Henderson down. And from there, Belfort was swarming him with punches. But it wasn't until Henderson got back to his feet that Belfort was able to finish the job. Henderson still kind of hurt there, fighting hard to get back to his feet. Just as he got back to his feet, Belfort sent him right back down. You can see Henderson's eyes roll back. Excellent stoppage from Mergliata here. Boom! Belfort very fluid and relaxed here in the early going. There it is again, that left high kick. And Bisping has opened up and in all sorts of trouble. That'll do it. Vitor wow. Belfort has done it. Well, he landed it in the first round and he landed it in the second to get the finish. You can see Bisping's hands were down just as he threw it. Boom. Right on the temple. He was so enamored with the hands and he had such great speed. Oh, now look at that. Oh, he's down. And down goes Eastman. And Vitor with that great speed. That's and the old Vitor. Over. It is over. That is the old Vitor. Beautiful. Right there, bang, that rocked him. And he just unloads. He doesn't give you a chance to recover. Oh, the Muay Thai, he, he, had, the, he had the back of the neck too, so that was yeah. a direct connection with the knees. And Once known for his hand speed, now he's known for his head kicks. That's as long as he could be patient. Once he landed that flush, he knew he had Dan Henderson hurt. He was not gonna allow him to recover. Boom! Endo ducked under, thought maybe it was coming to the body. It went right over his right hand. Not only does he have hand speed, but vicious speed with his legs as well. Oh. Vitor is wearing shoes, so he will not be able to strike with the feet. Oh, he does with the hands, though. Vitor Belfort is the winner! Wow! We said before, the quickest, the fastest hands in UFC history. A left, a right, a left, a right. And the young man who has aspirations of boxing in the lightweight division, maybe even, for this country of Brazil. Seem to get into Tank's face. Tank coached by Jesse Reed. Oh, boy, look at the hand speed. Lands a right and a left. This time, Tank goes down. Belfort continues to pop away. Tank can handle punishment, but that's the end. That will be enough. An amazing knockout finish and a quick kick from Akiyama. He went for the front kick to the face. Yep. The Anderson Silva. Oh, he knocked him. Vitor Belfort. All over Akiyama here. Oh, big shot again. Vitor oh. swinging away. Trying to finish his butt. That's it. Hit it all over. He's out cold. Vitor Belfort. He clipped him with that punch on the temple. And that's all he needed. 
He hit him with that one shot and then jumped all over him. And here we see, this is the final barrage here. One to the body, one to the face, another one. He's hurt very bad here. He goes down, one, two more. And that's it. Just laser beam accuracy. You see, he's looking to snipe. Yeah, and Rich has got to be careful not to overcommit. Yeah. Uppercut. Caught him. He heard him. Franklin is in trouble. Beltar looking to finish. He's out. He's it out. is all over. He's out. Beltor wow. Beltor. He caught him with a jab. Caught him with a little right hook. The left hand dropped him. Pushes him down. Hit him with the right hook there. There's a left hook that hurt him. There's another left. And one more. And that's a wrap. He's come up short in his two appearances of Pride. I gotta tell you what, I've been to a lot. Oh, wow. oh, oh my God! Oh, that's it! Oh, that's it! Oh my God! Vitor's back! Oh my God! Vitor Balfour, so you can see the replay here. Comes right back in, does a nice sprawl, throws a nice, oh, an incredible left straight down the pipe, catches him right on the chin, puts him right down to the canvas. Just a great, great job. I actually was about to say, Mar, I got to see Vitor train a little bit after the weigh-in, and his hands were the fastest I've seen him in forever. And oh, left hand, he got it. Oh, down goes down. He's over with. He got caught. Wow, there he comes. And for Rosa. He's got to he's got to hit his feet right now. On the ground, the Vitor Belfort lands a right to the head. Right another, another. That's it. That's it. It's over. I don't think that you could compare either one to uh, boxing experts. Now here's where he puts him away, Jeff. He'll watch to see what Perosa wants to do, and now he takes action by hitting him. And it just seemed that those couple punches there were enough to make John McCarthy say, hey, you're not defending yourself. I've never seen him choke someone out in mixed martial arts. Yeah, and he's got it. He's got it. Oh, my. He does have it. He's got it sucked in tight, so he's got a chance. He's going to have to tap off. There's no way he can get out. He tap, he tap. A quick show by Vitor Belfort. Uh, Tillman doesn't like it. That's why he's trying to get it. He's oh, he got tagged. He got cut, and he's in the guard now. He's trying to protect himself in the guard. But look at the quickness of Belfort. Unbelievable. He's, he's got good hands. Very fast. He's got the guard passed right now. He's a side pass, but he's on the side mount. We'll see how he can put it together and uh, work on things here. And Telegman is a bloody mess as Belfort lands that left hand explosively. There's some elbows. That's not necessarily anything good. He's just hitting the arm right there. Um, and that is it. McCarthy stepped in. I believe he tapped in. If it's fast enough, it'll happen. And uh, he was uh, he was getting he had quick hands. It'll be interesting to watch how the night unfolds. That was absolutely interesting. This place is unbelievable right now. This is the loudest I've ever seen an arena ever. I've never felt this before. Belfour trying to shot by Vitor. Right here. He's got him totally flattened out now. Big power shots by Vitor. And Rumble's trying to cover up. It is truly a culture. He's got his arm under the chin out. now. He's got his arm under the chin now. Looking to choke out Rumble. He's got his hips down. And win this here at home. This could be it. That's it. It is all it. over. It is all over. Boy, are these people happy here, Mike. This place is crazy. You have to really experience this in, in the flesh to understand how enthusiastic these folks are. Look how Vitor snuck that arm under and grabbed his forearm grabbed his bicep, couldn't quite sink it in properly, so he switched to a gable grip here, and then flattened him out totally, pressed down with his hips, and Anthony Johnson forced a tap. And Ivan pretty much needs to try to slip out the back door, but Vitor has one of his arms trapped. And Rob, even if Ivan escapes, he's expended a lot of energy there, hasn't he? He has, he's held Vitor very close to him for a lot of this fight, even now he's hooked that leg. You know, he's not in a position to drive Vitor forward, and it's a very difficult position for him to be in. I think what Ivan should try to do here is stand up. Because to sit here on the turtle up on his toes and knees, okay, that's the fight, folks. 
looking at the replay, you can see Vito just threw those left hands in at different angles, and they're very fast and very powerful. Grand Woman had no option but to stop the fight. Yeah. A much better angle here for us, as, is, as you rightly said, Rob. It was the angle, wasn't it, Steve? Yeah, it was the angle, and Serrani just didn't have any options here in his head. And Belfort. And the leg caught under Charles for a moment. Now he's not striking. 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 Vitor really is making a statement here. He could have thrown a bunch of right hand. There it is. And he's shown the world that he is capable of great submission skills. And he just showed us that he has good skill on the ground. Four minutes and 13 seconds it took for Vitor Belfort to finish the match. Looking at a replay here. Belfort setting it up now, looking for an arm, and right there when he pushed up with the arm, he quickly stepped to the side, around the head, sunk that arm bar, and immediately put the pressure onto the elbow. Charles tapped. And right here he's just waiting. He's seeing what Charles wants to do, and you see Charles' right hand, the palm up right there. He seizes it, steps quickly across. Belfort, a very quick individual. Yeah, Vitor's happy to box. He's the better boxer. He's winning the stand-up. Oh, it makes sense. Look at that. That's it. Beautiful. That's it. That's it. Wow. Beautiful. But came up short against one of the greatest fighters, for sure, that Cage Race has ever seen. Press him. Throws a couple jab Right there, he should have been punching. That's what he wants, right there. Yeah, if he can do this and he can keep on his feet for a while, more of a chance to Randy's land. Randy's wincing like something Randy happened. Randy is wincing Like big something time. happened in his eye. That, that is, uh, Randy Money got poked in the eye there. He's, I hope he's okay. Oh, no. Well, I, I will oh, say this. You gotta be kidding me. Oh They're gonna stop the goodness. fight. They've gotta stop oh the fight. Oh, my God. They have stopped the fight. You gotta be kidding me. It's like a little finger that came across his face, clipped his eye, because it didn't hit him. So Tough it must have been it. a part of his finger coming out of there, caught him in the eye. Tough to see it from that angle. Yes, Randy's still trying to talk to the doctors, Dr. Margaret It looks Goodman. like it just grazed the eye. It could have easily been the, the, the glove, just been barely the touched oh. it.